Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of how Smartsheet can be used to create an effective meeting room booking system for multiple rooms. Clearly, this can be modified for many other uses, such as desks or equipment where items are required for varying time slots on a particular day. To create this system, I've used the Calendar app and Dynamic View, which are premium applications and can be both used for a myriad of use cases. But with this demo, demo, it simply serves to show how flexible they are to meet many other uses. So you can go and see and test the calendar for yourselves on our website, but for privacy reasons, you won't be able to use the Dynamic View functionality as I've adjusted the form settings so it doesn't record the booker's email address. So let's dive in. So this is the view you will see on my website, and this shows how it can just be added into a website or through a dashboard in many other ways. So again, this is direct on the website. So what I've got done is I've gone into one of my demo users uh, accounts, and in this case it is Alejandra's account. And here she's gone to the dashboard for the meeting room bookings. And here you can see the bookings that have been made for the week. And so each item you can see what's been booked by who. So if I click on an item, you can see the booking has been booked by Demo Productive. Um, it's been booked for Rich Coles for a team meeting, and there's the slot. And if you click on the various slots below, it's booked out for the three time slots. So for Rich Coles, it's been booked from 9 to 10.30. So I close that, and then I go to any other booking. Again, it pulls up the details. This one's been booked by Alejandra, and it's for her, and it's for a review, and that's the slot. So again, at a glance, you can see what meet meetings have been booked. So in this case, Alejandra, she wants to book a meeting and she's going to book it from one. So she's just checking and check booking it from one to three o'clock on Monday and booking meeting room one, which is available. So to make the booking, she's going to click here to make a new booking. It opens up the form and she's going to book it for herself, Alejandra Rojas, and clicks on the date. And let's go scroll across the calendar. So we said Monday first, meeting room one, and she's going to book it from one o'clock through to three o'clock in the afternoon. And it is for a business review meeting, and she submits it. So that goes in. Now, one point to note is if there's a prior booking in the system, it won't show up on the calendar. And so it only takes new items that um, that work. So that's been booked. The calendar reopens to the current week. So this is currently the week of um, October the 25th. So if I scroll forwards now to the following week, and you can see that the booking that Alejandra has just made has now been added to the system. So I click on it, it opens it up, and you can see the slots from one to three o'clock have now been booked there on that side. So. That's how the meeting room has been booked. So I'm going to cancel, come out of that. Now, in terms of being able to see her, her meetings, so a couple of things just to go back to is, one, in terms of notifications, that the when a booking is made, you will get a notification of this. So it's been set up using the notifications. And in there, it's been booked for the following times, so from one to two o'clock. And again, if you need to make any changes, please go to your bookings page. So if I click on that, that takes you into dynamic view. And this is where Alejandra can see all her various meetings. So in this case, she's got, this is the one just made, meeting room one from one to three o'clock for the business review. And she clicks into that one. Again, the options here, and if she needs to delete it, you can click delete and I'm gonna save that one. So the meeting room's been, now been deleted. Booking has been canceled. You can see, so booking canceled. And so as I update that, you can see then that's been taken out of the calendar again. So let's just go back to the calendar in this case. So it's booked there. She's now canceled that booking. So I reload the calendar and it's gonna open on the current week and I will have to move forwards. So there you go, next week. And you can see the booking that was there moments ago has now gone and it's been updated. So trust that's been useful for you, seeing how the calendar app and dynamic view can be used in many different ways, in this case for a meeting room booking system. 
one thing to think about is in an office, you could have QR codes outside the rooms and users could go up, scan the QR code, and that would take them straight in to see the availability of the rooms and to make bookings from there. So lots of ways that Smartsheet can be deployed. It's up to your imagination. So um, what I love doing at Productive Project Solutions is come up with creative ways to help people find the best ways to use Smartsheet. So I'll continue posting different videos on different ways to use Smartsheet. Uh, please subscribe if you're interested in these and let me know if you want to find out more about these solutions. Many thanks for watching.